everybody, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie. On this episode of CD Junkie, I want to talk about Badfinger. More specifically, I want to talk about a brand new archive release from the late, great Pete Ham, formerly of Badfinger, an incredibly gifted songwriter, deep, emotional songwriter. He was right up there, in my opinion, with just great pop songwriters like uh, McCartney, Jeff Lynne, it was as if his veins were filled with melodies or or he just would reach from heaven and just grab a melody and shove it in his guitar and then strum out uh, some songs. He was an incredibly gifted songwriter. He was a very prolific songwriter. And that's why we are here. We are here to talk about an archive release featuring demos. But before I get into this brand new release, just let me give you just a crash course on Badfinger. Originally, they were formed as the Ivies. Pete Ham on vocals and guitar, Tom Evans on vocals and guitar, Ron Griffiths on bass, and Mike Gibbons on drums. When they changed their name to Badfinger, Ron Griffiths left the band, Tommy Evans moved over to bass, and Joey Mullen stepped in as guitarist. Their first time was Badfinger, actually used songs from the Ivies album, and they added a few new tracks, including their version of Paul McCartney's Come and Get It. This is the album that features that song, Come and Get It. It was their first hit single. The Beatles didn't write any more songs for them. That's the only song that was written for them. This band was so talented. They wrote everything else. You know, everyone talks about, you know, bands being the new Beatles and all that kind of stuff. Badfinger really could have been as popular as the Beatles. Just truly incredible. The next album that they put out was called No Dice. No, that is not Cher on the cover, like a lot of my friends have asked me. Uh, this is the album that features No Matter What, and it also features the original version of the song Without You that was written by Pete Ham and Tom Evans. Harry Nilsson went on to have a hit with that in 1971, a worldwide hit. That is, oh, so, in fact, I prefer the Harry Nilsson version over the Badfinger version, but this is the original version. And uh, it's just absolutely incredible. It's a great song, great songwriting all around from all the members. But you have to remember, Pete Ham wrote songs, Tommy Evans wrote songs, Joey Mullen wrote songs, and even Mike Gibbons, the drummer, wrote songs. So all of Pete's songs could not fit on an album. So he's stockpiling a bunch of demos, writing furiously throughout the years, and just quality stuff their next album was probably their most popular it's called straight up this is the album that was produced by both george harrison and todd rundgren and it features day after day and baby blue which are the two probably their biggest hit singles apart from come and get it but you just can't beat Badfinger. Just incredible band. Now, still signed to Alba Records, they released the album called Ass. And the only reason I show this album is because I like to curse on my videos, but I like to do it subtly. So that's why I say the word ass because it's the name of the album. Uh, but this uh, this is just an okay album. Uh, this is their contractual obligation. Oddly enough, Pete Ham only had two songs on the album. And this is a guy who probably wrote 20 songs every day. So they signed to Warner Brothers and in early 1974, they released the self-titled album. This album was originally supposed to be called for love or money for love stay with apple for money go to warner brothers well we know what they did uh and this is a wonderful album it's not quite up to par with uh you know let's say no dice or straight up but it's them breaking out and and, and trying new styles and the song lonely you by pete ham off this album should have been a single and it would have been huge just as huge as songs like day after day i don't know why it was never released as a single but later that year they came back with another album called wish you were here yes even before pink floyd had an album called wish you were here Badfinger did and this is their masterpiece this is my favorite album of all time no joke incredible it's Badfinger's uh, Abbey Road it's just non-stop wonderful and it, it's absolutely fabulous now tensions with management the label within the band they were fractured Joey Mullen left the band he was replaced by Bob Jackson but then they were forced into the studio to record an album when they weren't ready when they didn't have a bunch of finished songs so they just went and recorded whatever they had now this album was re originally recorded in early 1975 but it was never released it was shelved the, the label didn't want to release it and unfortunately Pete Ham took his own life in April of 1975 and leaving this world with a huge hole because he was so amazingly talented beautiful soul a beautiful songwriter now eventually joey and tommy got back together and they reformed badfinger and they put out the album airwaves in 1979 this has some absolutely wonderful songs and also has some songs that you know were sort of you know uh, i mean there's like a song with a disco beat stuff i love this album but it's got one of tommy's best songs called sail away you know it could be taken as a tribute to Pete Ham, who had died just several years before, or it could be an ominous sign of things to come. But in 1981, Badfinger put out Say No More, which is my third favorite Badfinger album after Wish You Were Here and Straight Up. This is pure power pop, whereas 
Airwaves did have some ballads, beautiful ones, by the way. This was just a straight rock album. Just every song was fantastic. And it sounded very much of 1981. They weren't dipping back into that great Badfinger sound of the 70s. They were setting their own path. Really a wonderful album. But the album didn't sell well, and Fractions and the band split them up again. And unfortunately, Tom Evans took his own life just a few years later. And that was essentially the end of Badfinger, per se. Now, Joey Mullen performed with different versions of Badfinger over the years. And no disrespect to Joey, but this was in my opinion, sort of the end of Badfinger. I still bought every Joey Mullen solo album. But unfortunately, Pete Ham was no longer around to release solo albums. And like I told you earlier, he was very prolific. And he had a bunch of demos stocked up that would have just sat in boxes uh, unreleased if it weren't for a gentleman by the name of Dan Matavina getting in touch with the Pete Ham estate and working with them in releasing these. In 1997, there was a collection of Pete Ham demos that came out called Seven Park Avenue that featured previously unreleased Pete Ham songs. He did add some modern instrumentation to them to you know, beef them up a little bit, but still a great collection of songs. That was followed in 1999 by Golders Green, another great collection of demos of songs that had never been released before. In 2013, there was another collection called the Keyhole Street Demos. I've never been able to get my hands on a copy. Eventually, hopefully I will be able to find one and then there was this release called Demos Variety Pack that features songs from the previous demo releases uh, some of them were remixed and that's a great collection there uh, in fact I made a video of that when that came out just a few years ago really absolutely wonderful now Dan Matavina who had been in charge of the Badfinger legacy uh, you know helping uh, both the Tom Evans estate and the Pete Ham estate writing a, just an incredible book called Without You The Tragic Story of Badfinger which I hope gets a repress because mine was damaged and I can't afford spending $250 for a new copy. Let's hope for all of our sake that that does get repressed. Now, Dan passed away recently. Now, for a while, some of us were wondering, well, what's going to happen with the Badfinger legacy? I mean, you know, somebody's got to be there dealing with, you know, the Pete Ham estate, Tom Evans estate. Well, luckily... Dan was already working with a gentleman by the name of Tom Brennan. Now, Tom was working on a project with Dan Matavina before he passed away, a collection of more previously unreleased Pete Ham demos that were recorded between 67 and 72. And after Dan's passing, they continued moving the project forward and they originally released it digitally. But then a gentleman by the name of Rich uh, from YT Music stepped in and issued it on CD. And here it is Pete Ham, Gwent Gardens. A beautiful collection of previously unreleased tracks by Pete Ham. Now, there's only three songs that were eventually recorded by Badfinger, and those are the songs I Miss You, Take It All, and Bloodwind. Now, it's interesting because the, the version of I Miss You here was recorded in 67, uh, whereas uh, the, the Badfinger version didn't come out till 1974. It's a very emotional experience because you, you know, even before Badfinger took off, you can hear this heartbreak and, and, you know, this deep emotion in his voice. And this is coming from a very real place. This is not coming from a guy saying, oh, I got to knock out a couple songs. You know, hopefully they'll sell. This is a guy expressing himself through his music. And it's very obvious, especially on the demos on this. All of these are unadorned with other instrumentation. It's just Pete. Uh, and he double tracks himself on vocals a few times. The songs he recorded on piano, on acoustic guitar, on electric guitar. There is an appearance from Ivy's bass player, Ron Griffiths, on one song. Otherwise, it's all Pete. It's all written by Pete, and it's all performed by Pete. I can't say more about it. What I'm going to do is I've put together a medley featuring snippets of a few songs off the album just to give you an idea. Now, remember that these are demos. They are not studio recordings but you can feel the emotion in them and it's really truly incredible so sit back relax give this a listen and i will see you on the other side it takes so Finally come to free me Or just a broken rifle on a stone
be a frost, I'd be a new man. But I can't be, cause I'm only human, not a true man. So what can I do? What can I do? You see the front door, all copies of lights in a way. The sun has shone on me Makes it easy to make it hard Take an inch, take a yard, take it all If we try a little more to forgive this inspires you to buy a copy of Gwent Garden's beautiful, wonderful release. Thank you to Tom Brennan and to Rich and all over at YNT Music for releasing this, for fulfilling Dan Matavina's dream and bringing this great music to us fans. And hopefully that music touched you and you want to check this out. Maybe you want to check more Badfinger out. Maybe you want to check out some of the other Pete Ham demos. Whatever you do, just celebrate this man's music. Celebrate this band's music. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, to ring that bell for future notifications. And until the next time, remember me. I'm Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie.